So if you'd like to go back through your notes to yesterday's presentation about intention. When I guide meditation, the first thing I say is be very clear about your intention. And I now take that to the more physical realms of culinary practices and so forth. What are you trying to prepare? What are you about to cook? What's going to taste like? Bring it back to your intention, if, if not your annual mission statement that you created yesterday, and now put it in the emotional first, first person of, I allow myself to be a motivational mindset mentor and wellness coach who gets to travel around the world doing the work that she loves. That's mine. You can share it if you want to because it's going to be a great journey together. I'm all the merrier. Yeah? So look at what you wrote yesterday. You should remember it. So go back to your notes. Look at what you wrote and now write it down. You might like to share with your neighbour. So you've got a, a second party and how about this, since you're all going to travel this year together on this journey, why don't you make your neighbour accountable and vice versa? Why don't you say, this year I allow myself to and get your neighbour to sign it. They're not going to come after you with a huge axe on the 31st of December because you'll be in your red dress at the Mardi Gras somewhere. They won't find you. Okay? So make your neighbour accountable and vice versa. Stand up and step into that statement. I've had two with my mission statement. Very much so. I don't write vision statements for nothing. And you know what? When I write the vision statement, I'm sorry I haven't got the slide of it, but you may remember a little bit of it last time. It's actually happened because I've written it down and I put it up in front of you so I had to prove my point. You know, think about your language. You don't have to be grammatically correct, but use those powerful words. I am, not I will, it is. If you write it is my intention, you haven't got there yet. So you can say this is my vision statement, my mission statement or whatever, but it is my intention to drive to New South Wales later this afternoon because it hasn't happened yet. So I'm not driving there yet, yeah. But this is a lesson in grammar. But always, it's happening now, this is it. This is what a lot of you don't get. This is happening now. This is the immediate experience. So the more you declare it, it will happen instantaneously. The energy of it, I'm not saying that the cash flow sales will convert while you're sitting here hanging out with me, but the energy has to settle for the vibrational cellular response to elevate. Does that make sense? I enjoy giving myself permission to now live and reside in my new diamond prosperous mindset lifestyle with grace and gratitude. Read it to me again now that you've read it out loud once and so it sticks to you. I enjoy giving myself permission to now live and reside in my new diamond prosperous mindset lifestyle with grace and gratitude. That's beautiful. And so it will be. It's beautiful. Sorry, Dan. Um. Uh, my clinic is fully booked with waiting lists big enough to start my next clinic. Great. Need some love. Need some love. Okay. But it's great because that's your intention. Yeah. But I would give it some more emotion. emotion to you. You don't have to song and dance it here, but give it some more power. Something more attractive. You know, that's the word, and attractive isn't always, Hoo -hoo. it's just like, okay, I want those powerful words. Success, power, things power, abundance, and so forth. Yep. The universe understands that language, kind of. It might not have a watch, but it knows a few grammatical words, like, uh, or uh, descriptive words. Yeah. It's just for you to get used to declaring what you really, really, truly, absolutely almighty want and feeling it 
writing it down, probably cutting out pictures, making maybe a vision board, all that sort of stuff, it's another story. So therefore, the universe goes, oh, I know that feeling, I better go and match something physical to make it 3D, yeah? On that positive note, I shall leave it there. Thank you very much for having me, and I hope that you've taken a little piece of cellular Sammy home with you, perhaps, that you can resonate and work towards and may 2000 and Zen, as I call it, be your most prosperous year yet. Namaste. Thank you.